Hey guys, this is Vicki with Southern Cross Recreations. This is a container that had some snacks in it for my grandson that I pushed back and I thought, gosh, it would make such a cute snowman. So I got some yarn from Bahabi Lobby that was 50% off and I removed the, the lid from the container and traced the outside of the lid. Once you get this cut out, you're going to take a Christmas wrapping tube or you could use a paper towel tube, but with Christmas time, I'm sure you probably have these as well as I did. So I did a two inch circumference around it, cut it out with my box cutter. And then once I did that, you're gonna need to take your uh, inside of your tube, place it back on your cardboard and trace the in interior of your tube for the insert for your, your top hat. Now, once you get this um, all set, you're going to hot glue that into your tube. And then once you get that in place, you're going to take some, I just took some black paint and then painted all of my, the tubing and the flat part for the, the hat. Set that aside. And then you're going to start on your snowman. So once you hot glue this all around the tube, it's pretty simple, cut it off at the bottom and look how cute this makes. So the next step is I'm going to paint the exterior rim uh, part of my lid and then th let that dry. And then the next step is I took some fabric that I got at Joann's. You can use any fabric for the little scarf, tied it around there. And how cute did that come out? He's already coming together. I took some black buttons for his eyes. And then y'all know I love my placemat. This is the rice placemat I have used from Hobby Lobby. I got it in the spring section, so make sure you look for it. But you can use pipe cleaner as well. Took some orange paint, painted that for his nose. And then I'm going to, once it dries, hot glue that in place. And it just came out so cute. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to take and hot glue your top of your hat to your plastic lid. And then once you notice, um, I seen the black um, didn't cover all of the lid. So I went back and covered the um, shiny plastic that was showing through. Once I got that completed and it dried, I took some hot glue and put it around the base of my tube for the top hat and placed it in place. And y'all, look how cute this comes out. You could do this for pretty much any craft that you're looking for to make. The next step that I took was some floral wire. It's 26 uh, gauge. It's black in color. And these little buttons I got on Amazon. Now, if you want the link for them, I can send you the link. They're so cute. So many different varieties in this pack of buttons. But I wanted this little snowman to kind of hold this star. And the way to do it that I kind of came up with is make this uh, floral wire. It gets very... Um, strong and so you can tell there it will stay up by itself the next step i wanted to get his buttons in place before i added up my star again these are just buttons that i had you can use whichever buttons that you choose the next step is um, i took some of the um, rice paper placemat again to make his little arms and these are it's pretty simple to use again you can use a pipe cleaner um, I just love this placemat it's very thin so you can actually unroll it and make it his arms as thick as you want it I just left it as the way that it came hot glue those in place in between your little yarn and it makes the cutest little arms for your snowman So once I got the length of the arms that I wanted, cut that off, and then you can unroll, as you see there, this little rice paper. And I did that so that he would have little fingers. So I just made some little slits in there and then rolled them back together. And how cute did these little things come out? Again, you can use pipe cleaners as well or a tissue paper. You can roll up tissue paper and use it too. So the next step, I wanted to uh, kind of try his hat on. 
And look how cute that came out. So I wanted to kind of give, it's all in the details, I tell y'all that all the time. So I took some red ribbon and just put it around the base of my top hat there so the seam would not show. Cut that to fit. And then I took some of the pine picks as well, and you'll see that here in just a minute, and took those and cut them off at the tips just so that I would have some smaller pieces in order to put on my little hat there. I also had a pack of little berries that I had picked up. You can get these um, little packs of berries pretty much anywhere in any craft section right now. Um, I do know Hobby Lobby has them. Cut those with my wire cutters and put those in place. And I think it came out just so cute. We're gonna add a little bit more detail to that in just here in a minute. So I needed to make some little eyes on him. So I just kind of put a little dot on both of his eyes. And then the next step that um, you take is I did a little snowflake on the actual hat. And then I took some rub and buff and actually put that around the base of the hat just to kind of give it a little bit more detail. I also put a little bit of this uh, rub and buff on the buttons as well, just to kind of give them some shimmer. You can also use paint. Now this little tag right here, I got at Walmart, and these are gift tags, but I wanted him to kind of hold this little joy, cut it, put the ribbon there, hot glued it, cut the, the tip of it off, and look how cute that came out. Put that in place and then just hot glued his little hand to it as if he was carrying it. So the next thing I did is I just um, cut the wire to actually fit the snowman, poked it down into between the um, pieces right there and there you go. Hot glued his little hand there. And y'all, how cute did he come out? So simple, didn't cost anything hardly to make. And I just, I hope you guys enjoyed this and please pass it down the, the road for me, which means share, like, and comment. Let me know if you want the supply list and I'll get that out to you. And again, thank you for being here. I appreciate you being on my page. And for more, you can visit southerncrosswordcreations.com.